Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now. I am Hina Gambhir. The row over Hindi versus other Indian languages is getting uglier now. The latest sizzle in the frying pan has been caused by Higher Education Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Pon Mudi. While addressing a convocation event at a university in Coimbatore, he said that English is more valuable than Hindi. As a language, English is an international language, he said. We are learning international language, English. What is the need for other languages? And then he dropped the bomb that will create a stink. He said that those who speak Hindi are selling Pani Puri in his state. Let's listen in to what exactly he said. Anna has told our Udha and Juna, Puna Pora the day, or Vaid, and the Puna Pora Vaiti, Yana Ramabar Sunana, Hindi Pucha Varakarina, Kadida, Hindi Namura Point to the department, Pan Puri, which you know, Yenda Kaya, Elamba. इंटरनेंग्लिश He also said that Tamil students were willing to learn any language and that Hindi should be optional and not compulsory. Now, fearing outrage, he later clarified that his intention was not to hurt Hindi speakers. Listen it. I think it is profiling people who are selling Pani Puri over there. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, Hindi speaking people no, no, are profiling. No, not like that, not like that. They are doing here. They are doing most of them. They are doing working on the Bani Puri with shops and all those things. Opposition parties have been asking you apology for you know making such they a remark. They are saying uh, your remarks. <laughs> they are asking for apology. How do you think it is right to profile people sir, based on their job and language? Sir? Do you think it is right to profile their people based on their job and language? Sir? How do you see that your speech has gone this controversial, especially given that you made a statement regarding the power? Somebody might have been, uh, might have done it. Not, uh, I, I don't have any purpose. Okay. Without any purpose, I suppose it's working. Most of the people are not getting it. Job even in the north. That's why I mentioned it. Sir, there was no intention to insult Hindi speakers. No, definitely not. Pani Puri selling is not an uh, insulting manner. Insulting manner. Okay. This is they are doing here as that work. Huh. They did not get government job and all the seats are here. That is what I mean. What were you trying to tell the governor at that point in time? Then, what were you trying to tell the not governor? Not to the governor. Okay. To the, to the people, those who are speaking, that we, if we learn Hindi, we can go and get employment there in the north. But what I mentioned is in the north itself, there is no. Uh, Uh, employment. Will you please make your comment, sir? Many Hindi, many Hindi speakers feel insulted. Many Hindi speakers feel insulted. What do you think? Apology. How do you see this, sir? Now, recently we had another controversy involving Kishor Sudeep and Bollywood actor and director Ajay Devgan that. still was continuing and now there seems to be a trend emerging escalation in a battle over which language is superior now viewers these fault lines aren't new to india but over the last seven and a half decades india seem uh, have seem to have in fact risen over such divisive walls many of those fault lines seem to be re erupting for example reservation in state jobs for domiciles of the states the north south divide the marathi versus the up bihar bhaiya fault line the it's my language versus it's not my language is a now in vogue fissure fueled by central government's push for hindi 
So is Hindi push proposed to be a unifier turning counterproductive? Is the question we are asking on Urban Debate this evening. Is there need to accept unity in linguistic diversity as the sole national language? Joining us on the broadcast this evening are my guests. We have A. Sarvanan, spokesperson of the DMK. Kasturi Shankar, who is a social activist uh, live with us this evening. Narayan Tirupati, spokesperson of the BJP. S. Uh, S. Shridam, who is a political analyst, also joining us on Urban Debate on Mirror Now this evening. Good evening to all of you. Thank you very much for joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now today. Uh, Mr. Narayan Tirupati, I want to begin the discussion with you tonight. Is Hindi push, which is proposed to be a unifier, turning counterproductive? No, there is no Hindi push at all. There is no Hindi push at all. No government can... Uh, push Hindi, no government can impose Hindi on Tamil Nadu or other, other states, definitely. Because we as a party, we as the government, we don't want to impose any language in any state. That we, have, we have made it very, very clear. So absolutely there is no uh, point in talking about it. But the, but the words used by the minister today was very arrogant and definitely he has to take apologies for what he has said. See, he's talking about the Panipuri people who sell. See, these speakers are selling uh, Panipuri. What is this? See, it is better than uh, these people who are selling, you know, liquor and uh, they, who have destroyed the entire uh, four decades of Tamil community. And, uh, you know, in the entire India, Tamilians, we, we, our, our uh, women are the more number of widows are there because of the, uh, you know, liquor, what these people sell. So, why insult uh, people? Why insult a uh, language? And this is arrogant. This person has spoken very bad. This, uh, this person was, you know, uh, irresponsible. He has spoken meaningless, uncultureless, and senseless. That is what uh, this minister has done. I think he has to be removed. He has to be thrown out. And Mr. Stalin will do that. I am very sure that Mr. Stalin will remove this minister, higher education minister, who has lowered his standards. Mr. Sarvanan, is that the view shared by DMK Chief MK Stalin, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu as well? What's wrong? There is nothing wrong in what the minister has said. It is being taken out of context. You showed the videos where he has clarified and the BJP, as usual, <coughs> not able to stomach the progress made by the DMK party in the state of Tamil Nadu is making such wild allegations. If at all, someone should apologize, someone is being arrogant, is the BJP. They, every time a BJP leader, a tall leader, claims Hindi is a national language. We had Mr. Amit Shah coming out and saying that English should not be the link language. People in India should speak only in Hindi. And there was a minister from Uttar Pradesh who said people who does not know Hindi should go out. Where did Mr. Narayan and Tirupati ask for all those resignations? Did the outrage like this? Why this selective outrage? They're not able to stomach. So this is one thing. The other important aspect is this. See, people from north of India, especially the Hindi belt, they are all coming here in search of jobs probably towards the south of India. That is the hard data. The minister was pointing out that. And he was also speaking about the importance, the importance of English. Everybody has understood if India has become a superpower, economic superpower, in the last 70 years, it is only because we have adopted English. And only English can give us progress. Take it or leave it. If you know only Hindi, if you know only Tamil, if you know only Malayalam, if you know only Kannada, you cannot become a doctor. You cannot become an engineer. You cannot become a software professional. That is the point. That is what he wanted to make. He was only talking about the importance of English. And he has clarified very clearly. Now the BJP, which is coming and crying hoarse, should sit back and listen. How much money they are spending? Eight hundred thousand dollars. Mr. Sarvanan, he can Just talk about Just the moment, importance, the benefit of English as a language without uh, taking a dig on those who speak Hindi in the country also. And it's not the first no, no. time that you know uh, he has made these kind of statements. See, this is there was no dig about it. See, if you look at the uh, city of Chennai or anywhere else across the state of Tamil Nadu, the Panipuri Wallas will speak only in Hindi. Because that is not our native food. People who sell idli vada, dosa, they will only speak in Tamil. That is the point he was trying to make. 
and you are saying and the everybody a twist is given to his words and they are saying he clarified <coughs> it very very clearly the point is this see 800000 dollars are being spent in the un for promoting hindi as though only hindi speaking people are outside the country there are n number of thousands and thousand millions of people who speak tamil who speak kannada who speak telugu everybody else are there but the union government is not bothered about them 800000 okay. dollars and 600 crores for sanskrit 80 crores for appointing okay. so mr narayan tirupati will you, you like you to respond this, no, no, then I'll go across to kasturi yeah, shankar yeah. and s shri ram see, see the problem is not about uh, the hindi or right this is the problem about the words the minister used the he has lowered the standard he has lowered the standard of tamilians see he can he don't have any right to talk about a language and also the people of india he has spoiled he is trying to spoil the integration of india the he is questioning the national integration that is what they have done a minister taken oath he is talking about people in india he is talking ill about them definitely he has to resign by this time he should have resigned he cannot say that uh, he, he never had any inten intentionally deliberately to divide india he is a divisive force that is what dmk has been doing today also they have done yeah yeah okay. see just a minute hina let us let the bjp okay. not uh, preach us about integration let me finish this let the bjp not speak about integration division communal division and any kind of division is the ploy of bjp Tamil Nadu is a heaven of okay. tolerance. So please don't preach us, sir. Go preach your North Indian friends. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. You heard the He's view of the DMK and the BJP representative on the show. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, both of you. Now please calm down. Let me now go across to my other guests as well, who've been patiently waiting and listening to both of you for quite some time. Kasturi Shankar and S. Shriram. I have one question for both of you. Again, what I asked Mr. Narayan Tirupati earlier. Going by what is happening in the country, uh, this language war that we are seeing. the way it is escalating the way uh, you know fuel is being added to this language war almost on a regular basis how do you see is hindi push that is proposed to be a unifier turning counterproductive have the fault lines got deepened further kasturi shankar first Uh, i have said this time and again and i will say it now hindi is projected as a unifier it didn't work in 1947 it didn't work in 1952 and it does it's not working in 2022 it's not going to work because uh, hindi according to the rest of india is a regional language it is not a link in in fact once upon a time people used to push for it the same bjp government in its last um, tenure used to push it as a possible official language and a possible national language and because of the outrage and the resistance language. then uh no uh, because of the resistance then today the push is for hindi to be a link language the language itself the narrative has changed to it becoming a link language because most of the people in the north speak it why not we all adjust to it but no the indian perception is that hindi is a regional language it's a regional language spoken in the hindi belt elsewhere in fact a majority of indians are not hindi speakers so why should the majority be forced to learn hindi and start communicating in hindi when there are other better contenders to the same in fact there are more practical contenders as mr cn anadurai our chief minister said and as mr ponmudi today pointed out when english is already there and it is a much superior language in terms of opportunity if we are going to talk about opportunity and if you are going to talk about equal disadvantage then english is a better language so this uh, as far as the remarks of the minister is concerned i would like to but this is probably the one miraculous time i'm siding with the dmk and mr saravanan uh, i would like to actually respectfully Thank tell mr narayan tirupati uh, sir it is uh, yes very unsavory 
that uh, a minister on a stage talked about Pani Puri Walas, but I think it has to be taken in context. It's about Hindi being projected as the language of opportunity. He clearly said that on stage also. Everybody's biggest narrative is when you learn Hindi, you have all these uh, central government services doors opening up. You have employment. When you go to the north, what will you do? You South Indians, Madrasis, when you come to the north as migrant workers, you need Hindi. But the fact is, the influx of migrant workers is steadily from the north to the south. Everywhere. I am in Hyderabad. Telangana doesn't care for Hindi. Everybody speaks Hindi here. And still, they don't think of it as a superior or a employment or an opportunity language. They don't. That's the truth. They're all very proud of their Urdu and their Telugu. Mm. We all speak Hindi. But we don't think that that is going to give us employment in the north. What kind of employment are we talking about? Going there as construction workers. Because all the construction workers are in South India. Building okay. buildings. I mean, so it's not, a, it's not to, it's not to be belittle anyone. But the fact is, there are stereotypes everywhere. There was an infamous time in Maharashtra when every South Indian migrant worker was called a madrasi and an entire political platform was built on the slogan lungi uthao pungi bujao okay nobody was questioning that then what was that supposed to be is that not hate politics and when you say hindi is a better language for opportunity and employment mm. show us that show us the proof it is not that pani puri walas have been singled out there are there is a huge hindi population in tamil nadu let me tell you that also ma'am there is a huge hindi speaking population in tamil nadu hmm. the hmm. ones that are most successful the ones that have a huge merchant class a huge corporate class I, in fact our collectors and our as officers and even big crops they all learn tamil ma'am they all learn the local language even in Telangana, right. even in Karnataka, right. they learn the yeah, local that's language. That's the reason why today's debate say, is uh, not just limited to every what language. the minister of Tamil Nadu had to say. You know, that's the reason why today's debate is not just limited to what the minister had to say, but this pattern, this trend that we are seeing emerging specifically With from states respect, like I Tamil Nadu. That, that, and uh, uh, Mr. S. Sriram. Um, uh, Ma'am, uh, let me finish. Yeah. Yes, you had died I down, think it but had, now it's it back died again. Down, but I think it started again. And the starting point was uh, the Home Minister's statement saying Hindi should be the link language, Hindi should be the official language, all parliamentary proceedings will now be in English and Hindi only. Yes, so in that's the reason uh, that why I'm point. asking this that question. Let point. Mr. Sriram now respond. Yeah. Is this Good Hindi evening, push turning counterproductive now? No, this is, I wouldn't call this as an Hindi push, honestly. Uh, whatever happened today uh, with regard to the education minister saying so is definitely, uh, you know, uh, something which he could have avoided. It is regrettable. Uh, for us to address the largest section of Indians who speak Hindi and to ridicule them is something which should have been avoided, honestly. And, but this, that is not this, what uh, happened. This anti-Hindi... We are not telling anti about every Hindi speaker. Please this, don't say that. No, no, no. No, definitely. Pani, no, that's not the way. It is, his intention was to clearly See, ridicule uh, Hindi everywhere. as a language. Kerala you can escape, nurses, you can escape saying whatever thing. you want. But what was said is definitely ridiculing. What was said is definitely demeaning or belittling. That, and, and also the Sarvanan. It is not that only the North Indians come to Chennai to do working. So are Tamilians who go across the country, who go to Bombay, who go to Gujarat, who go to Bhopal. There are people who work across the country. So why do we put them in that kind of a dock when we talk about you know, saying belittling Hindi. The difference as is that as, everybody learns the local as, language. No, no. Hear Except me out, here. please. Now, let me hear. As much as we have pride of our okay, language. Okay, so one at a another, time. Kasturi, so I promise another. I will give you time to respond as well. Yeah, as much as we have pride of Tamil, so will be a Hindi person speaking Hindi. I mean, there's something which you should avoid. As far as this government actually even came with this agenda of, you know, anti-Hindi. But let me tell you, the most of the politicians who run CBSE schools in Tamil Nadu or in the ruling party, and they, they, do, they do teach Hindi. It's just that a common student of a government school is, is stopped from not learning Hindi. When you say you don't impose, you also impose by not giving an option to learn Hindi, which is also as much as not imposing Hindi. So this is definitely uh, an aspect which the minister should have avoided, is my I opinion. Want to respond. I want to respond. Okay. Kasturi Shankar, please quick response. Yes. Yes. Uh, number one, uh, 
we are not talking about this is not, not at all about ridiculing every hindi speaker absolutely i i explained that there's a huge hindi speaking population in tamil nadu which is very successful in the and local language they are assimilated in language and all uh, uh the thing is when you come from the north and you refuse when you say we go to the north and we have to learn hindi and everybody learn that's the difference anybody who goes to the north as a migrant worker learns hindi but when hindi laborers and migrant workers come to tamil nadu or telangana or karnataka they expect the local population to talk in hindi why because in the school system the north indians are not given the opportunity you talked about schools in tamil nadu poor government students they are uh, they are um, denied the opportunity of learning the hindi other, other what about the, okay tamil nadu they are denied the opportunity of hindi so when they go to the north they suffer sir there is a huge influx of migrant workers from hindi belt to tamil nadu they are denied the opportunity Adhavashi of surviving in south india not why are Adhavashi. they not uh, teaching Why are there the Hindi schools? Not teaching South, 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 South India. So the South India. They are being denied. Okay, okay. One, okay. one at a time. Please, one at a time. Please, I that request Mr. Shri Ram. The double standard. One is second. The problem. One the second. Standard, yes, Mr. Suri. Quickly finish your point. Standard, yeah. The the double standard in language propagation. The double standard in making one language more optimal than the others, more omnipresent than the others. is the result of this that is a, why this pushback is happening that is it don't push hindi down anybody's okay, okay. neck i know mr shiva must respond but before that i want to go across to mr narayan tirupati to respond to what kasturi has said now mr narayan tirupati you know the larger issue of course here is that these fault lines that we are talking about that uh, have in a way deepened the way uh, the kind of reactions that we've got over the last few days suggest now these aren't new to india so are these being you know brought up again for politics because people on the ground it seems aren't really bothered as uh, kasturi shankar mentioned just now no see uh, kasturi should understand one thing hindi is our official language that is in the con the constitution says very clearly she can't say she said that you know uh, amit shah thinks that if hindi is official language please kasturi please it is the official language you, you can't change it hindi is it the official change. language Why? english like anything english. can be just nothing is permanent it should change kasturi kasturi please okay. you you okay. were telling okay. me okay kasturi let him finish his me. point yes yeah you were telling me that amit shah I uh, spoke as if Hindi is an official language. No, it is the official language. English is the link language. We have to understand one thing. During uh, you know uh, the, uh, the when we framed the constitution, we were talking about the official languages act and so many things. It was decided that all Hindi speaking states people they should talk, they should learn the South Indian languages, and for the South Indian people. states they should learn hindi that is why the three language formula had come but unfortunately that was not you know functional that was not implemented maybe by the governments so we, we cannot you know uh, uh, go and, uh, we cannot uh, do that now but the problem here is that it is not the question i will be the first person if if the any government imposes hindi bjp will never impose any language you please try to understand we are not trying to impose hindi whatever said in the constitution see the home ministry is the guardian of official languages department it has to they he has to whether it is p chidambaram or whether it is uh, you know any home minister right from the day one they have been repeating this because the constitution says so we need to understand you want to bring any amendment in the constitution okay you are free to bring but you can't say that hindi is an, is not an official language see tamil is the oldest that, language tamil is you, you, said, you said you said no you said i said because no, said. of mr amit shah's emphasis on hindi okay, as the okay. official let, let let kasturi let, let, let kasturi now respond no let me let me let me finish let me finish one more so, thing one more so, thing and kasturi was kasturi was saying that you know uh, very quickly these people yes. come here these people uh, north indians come here and uh, they want everybody to uh, speak in uh, uh, hindi no all north indians are from nepal they talk tamil we need to understand this 100% i am telling you or nepal everyone is a north indian sir, sir from where national education sir, policy i don't know that states. nepal is in india kasturi, also kasturi one second national education policy very clearly says about three language uh, system okay. because 
the south indian people should yeah, learn can, can i come in people learn yeah, the south indian language Okay, okay. Narendra Tripathi, you've made your point. Yeah. Kasturi Shankar wants to respond, but before no. that, A. Sarvan. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hina, the problem is this. See, when we are talking about migration, the most of the migration of the laborers is happening from yeah. the North India and uh, the Hindi-speaking belt to South of India. There is no reverse migration. The migration from South India to the other places is very minimal. The point is this. If somebody wants to learn their language, for their economic prospects, let them go learn it. Nobody is stopping them from doing it. But the government, when language is the identity of your culture, we cannot have the BJP's top leaders coming and saying, Hindi is our national language. If no, you look no at the said. attitude no of them, said. sir. But then we no can't said. also go, have go, Sarvan and we can't oh, also oh, have oh, ministers oh, in a oh, state oh, saying, oh, you can oh, see oh, in Coimbatore oh, who oh, are oh, selling oh, Pani oh, Puri oh, now, oh, that oh, once oh, upon oh, a yeah, time, yeah, yeah, now oh, English oh, is the oh, international oh, language. Oh, we oh, can't oh, even oh, expect oh, these oh, kind oh, of statements oh, from a minister and that too from an education minister from a convocation ceremony. Mr. Naran Tirupati, you had made your point earlier. Let Sarvan and Rao respond, no, please. No, yes, Sarvan, go, go ahead. ahead. He cannot go on lying. What yeah, is BJP, BJP is a Hindi majority in I party, have asked him a question. I have asked him a question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hina, the BJP is a Hindi majority in party. They thrive on promoting Hindi. Apart from that, see, I, that's what I was talking about. How much money? Eight hundred thousand no, dollars was language? spent on, on, on so No, no that is the reason why I asked that question. Sagaras. If you Sagaras. are one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one at a time, gentlemen, please, one at a time. That is the reason why I asked this no, question. Ask you know, my first Hindi question was this language. only: Is this Hindu Hindi push? That you're talking about, yes, uh, which was proposed yes. to be a unifier, turning counterproductive. Is I'm that the reason why we are right, seeing these kind is, of reactions? That is, that is, is this I'm, the I'm reason? Is this your way to respond yes. to the BJP as per your claims? No, no, that's no, what no, I want no, to ask is, you. This is this the reason are, why the higher no. education minister from a convocation ceremony is taking a dig at Hindi-speaking people? No, he has not taken a dig at the Hindi speaking people. So let me bring a, let, let us let us bring some context. Who was there in that meeting? The governor was there. Why do we need to speak about that? Because the governor the who ought to have been the, the line of the state government is speaking about national education policy, which imposes three language formula. Tamil Nadu is a state which has shunned three language formula. We said we don't want three language. We are happy with two languages. But the governor, who is acting like a BJP spokesperson, speaking in various functions that we should have three language formula and we should have the national education policy. Tamil Nadu said we don't want national education policy. We have constituted a committee oh, okay, for ensuring here. that there is a oh, Tamil Nadu policy. Tamil Nadu, there is an education policy for the state of Tamil Nadu. This was a rebuttal. This, this 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 point was made to ensure that the governor understands the dynamics of the language in the state of Tamil Nadu. He was there on the dais. That is one thing. See, when we want to oppose the people of okay. Tamil Nadu, not only okay. the people of Tamil Nadu, people yeah. in the south of India, they understand. They clearly understand the importance Quick rebuttal, of Narayan their language. Very quickly, then they yes, also Sriram. understand how to oppose no. Hindi imposition. And when, let me make this clear. Just give me 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Airport, 10 seconds. Uh, Sarvanan, one airport. second. You've when, made your when, point, when, Sarvanan. When, when, when asked uh, Mr. Ponmudi in Chennai Airport, the minister, he said he did not spoke anything for the sake of because the governor was there. He said, I meant it. Because he, he said, you, you can see yes. it, even Mirror now, Times now, he has very clearly mentioned, no, it yes. was not for the governor. But now Saravanan says that it was for the governor. Mr. T.K. Sarangavan, a senior MP and a senior leader from DMK, he said, yes, the tone and tenor of the uh, minister was not right. He said, I will speak to him and I will see to it that he, he clarifies it. That's what Mr. T.K. Sarangavan says. But here Saravanan is talking in a different tone. Well, DMK differs on this issue. All are talking in the Different. same tone, sir. If you don't understand, no, no. there's no point. We are no, no. all talking in the same no, no. tone. See, this channel, point. this channel. No, no, no. May, may sir, there no one time. You will see, you will you, 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 you speak whatever. The thing is this, Hina. Hina, the thing is this. Are you disowning me? Okay, 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 gentlemen. Both of you, please calm down. Both of you, please calm down. I want to go across to S. Sridam now. He's been waiting patiently again for quite some time. You know, let's come back to the issue that we are trying to focus on. 
this language debate has been going on for quite some time but the way it has been intensified over the last few days specifically and specifically with what the uh, higher education minister of tamil nadu had to say today and then later a clarification that came the kind of defense we are seeing from the dmk do you think the fault lines india uh, had defeated long back decades ago are becoming active again is this the response of the southern part of the country to the center so no let's be very clear i first i would like to uh, uh, you know uh, tell ms kasturi that uh, what ms amit shah ji spoke was on a hindi divas day let us not forget that our own man mr p chidambaram who was then the home minister went one step ahead and said hindi should That's be made the national this language. is not about who so, said it so let us not try to uh, make it as though it's amit shah phobia and try to you know scare people it is definitely not so and all all along Sir? bjp has never ever been saying that we will impose hindi it's only a given as an option this is the this is the language politics that is being taken into account for their own benefit and definitely in tamil nadu today for all the one year of promises that this dmk government you know promised to the people this is just a diversionary tactic that they are not able to take the heat from the people and this is definitely one such act that they are trying to do okay i am not bjp i am not dmk and i am not congress so, also so i have no reason to uh, to be biased against or for one of those uh, the congress when it pushed hindi met with resistance and let it go it has been revived now very specifically by the bjp madam sushma swaraj went to the extent of saying english is something we should be ashamed of it cannot be the identity of india mrs mr amit shah recently has echoed the same sentiments he says when you can talk english which is a foreign language why do we not accept hindi as a, a link language unfortunately in india this is not about politics alone sir i am not talking from a political standpoint indian identity cannot be linked to just one language be it english or hindi or whatever oh, other language hmm. every language has its own has its own uh, pride and oh, heritage no. so you can't do that in fact now i think the next problem is going to be the next uh, protest is going to be for hindi being the official language from 1947 onwards so i think we have to protest that i think we have to change that it is 2022 we hmm. and that is the reason we still are united having this on debate the basis today. of the language is this now becoming yeah. a new fault so, line yeah Well absolutely okay. I appreciate all of you thank you very much for joining us here on urban debate on mirror now this evening completely out of time but of course we'll be tracking this story very very closely ahead as well uh heading into a very short break but there's lots lined up for you on the other side as well stay with us